This is Lewis Hart from Into Boxing. Delighted today to be joined with one half of the main event for Saturday night. John Ryder, how are we doing? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure, mate. It's a pleasure. Um, all the work's done now. There isn't much left to do. Um, how's, how's camp been for you, you know, over, you know, from different ones? How, how you, has it been any different? Uh, no, I think um, it's been nice. We've had a, a fair bit of notice for this camp. So uh, it's, been, it's been nice. Yeah, we've got some good rounds in during this camp. And... Um, yeah, everything's going in the right direction. The numbers are good. The running times are good. The, the weightlifting time, uh, the weightlifting, what is it? The, the the RPM of the weight lifted from top to bottom is all good. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm pleased. I feel I feel good. Um, I feel sharp, and I'm looking forward to getting there Saturday night. Can't complain. Can't complain. Zach Park, your opponent, a, dom- a great domestic fight. Um, how important is it? Does it does it make it this extra special that obviously this is in the UK that it's you know. Whilst this has implications for the world level, it's also you know great that you have two domestic opponents both sharing uh, you know sharing the ring. Yeah, I think it's a good thing, and um, a lot of the times these domestic clashes get overlooked. And I think listen, we've got the interim title on the line, and it's, I think it just adds to the the occasion. Um, it's a good fight. Zach's undefeated. Obviously, I'm coming off good wins myself, but I think it's a uh, really propels the winner on, and I'm, I'm looking forward to marching on from this. Obviously, hopping over to, to Queensbury on the other side, will it feel that little bit sweeter, you know, being a matchroom fighter, you know, going over there, almost getting like, you know, an away win in football? Well, listen, I was, I was the away fighter against Danny Jacobs on a matchroom card in February, so I, uh, I like the underdog mentality, but I'm, a, I'm fighting a, a Frank Warren fighter, Queensbury fighter, sorry, in, in London at the O2, so it feels like home to me. I was going to say that, like, it's whilst he's from Derby, you're sort of from London. Uh, at Ali, Ali Pali last time, you know, you had loads of, there, loads of people there to support you. I'm sure it'll be the same uh, at the O2 on Saturday night. Yeah, I think we're going to have a good turnout come Saturday. So um, I'm, just, I'm just happy that it's in my hometown. I've not got to travel too far. Um, the family's local and it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a good night for everyone. Does it feel a little bit extra special being at the O2? Like I said, you're from London. There's so many people that have etched their names in history on Saturday night with, on, on, you know, with iconic fights. I'm sure you know you want to be be one of them come Saturday night. Yeah, definitely. I think the um, the WBO title's got a bit of um, a bit of love in the UK. Obviously, great fighters in the past have held it, um, especially in the Super Middleweight division. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good event, and a good occasion for me to be part of, and uh, a title I'm desperate to win and, and really progress from. It being the WBO interim title, people aren't too sure what Canelo is doing, but do you think it's important with or without the belt? At 168, there's still so many big fights out there for you. Yeah, I think regardless of what Canelo's doing next, it's good to have this title because there's still other big fights out there for the winner. Um, you can go and defend against any of the other champions or former champions. So, um, listen, obviously Canelo's got everything tied up, but there still is massive fights to be had for this title. Do you feel like now that you're finally getting the respect you deserve? Obviously, been on the end of some, you know, questionable decisions before. A massive statement win over Danny Jacobs, and then if you do, if you beat Zach Parker, you know, you, you, you put your name right up there. Do you feel like? Do you, do you feel before that you potentially were, were a bit disrespected by, you know, people on the world level? Uh, no, I'm mean, listen. I don't hold myself in that high regard. I'm not that high opinion of myself. I just think I go about my business, get the work done, and uh, do a job Saturday, and then I can look for a big 2023. But I'm excited, it's the right fight at the right time for me and um, it's going to stand me in good stead moving forward. Just to finish off, I mean, if, Peter, if, if boxing fans don't know, they're crazy, but what can we expect from John Ryder versus Zach Parker on Saturday night? Just expect an all-action fight. I think um, the fans are going to be in for a treat from the, the, the bottom of the card to the top, so uh, come out, enjoy it. I know it's on top of Christmas, but if you haven't got your tickets, get some and uh, come along and support. Best of luck for Saturday night, John. I really appreciate your time. Thank you, mate. Cheers.